Now, okay, folks, time for another 30 day update, update on the growth. It is February the 2nd. Things have progressed a little bit more. We've got some Swiss chard that's doing real nice here. We're going to probably have a little bit of that for dinner tonight. Kept a little bit of the lettuce to uh, continue to feed the fish. I've harvested most all of it though, but you can see some of that hanging down here. It's still going strong, but the, uh, the fish love it, so probably always going to keep a certain amount of it around to feed the fish. Cherry tomatoes, hydroponic system. Got lots of lots of cherry tomatoes on here. A whole bunch of new ones there. A lot more new ones there. A big cluster of them back there. And it just it smells like tomatoes in here. Kind of a new experimental crop. Um, I've started after harvesting most all the lettuce. This is just more uh, Swiss chard seedlings we're starting because I do like the stuff. Let's go up top and take a look at the penthouse. This is a new experimental crop with roots. I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but I've got a lot of uh, radishes here and carrots growing. It'll be interesting to see uh, see how that turns out. Got a few more uh, spaces to fill back there. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to plant yet. Maybe some strawberries to get them ready for spring. Back down the ladder. The broccoli has gotten much taller than I anticipated. Uh, I was supposed to only get 12, 14 inches tall. I did allow 24 inches. However, they are clear up into the lights, and I cannot go any higher with the lights. So it'll be a little. It'll be interesting to see what happens, but. We are starting to get some broccoli heads. As you can see right there. I'm sure that's going to be good when it's done. A little bit more Swiss chard. Some more broccoli. This is on the lower deck of the aquaponics system. And the cherry tomatoes up top here in the aquaponics are doing much better than they are doing over in the hydroponics. As you can see, we've got lots and lots of them ready to be picked and I have a, eaten a few of them they're just absolutely delicious and they're also up into the lights <clears throat> I had the same uh, plants last year outside and they never got near this tall or grew this well <coughs> excuse me a few more cherry tomatoes some more clusters up there a couple back there that are starting to turn ripe and I think we've got one or two more back here hiding. Yeah, there's one more there. All in all, the cherry tomatoes are doing real well. There's a couple more back there. They're starting to turn red. Doing real, real well. And back to the fish. They're, of course, feeding this system. Uh, they're growing as well. Tilapia are starting to catch the goldfish. Let's see if we can get them to come up and say hi. There they are. Haven't named them yet. I'm going to get away from that just in case I decide to eat the tilapia. But at this point, I think we're just going to raise them out to a little lot larger and try and breed them. But they are some good eaters. I think we've had them in here about two and a half months now. Put them in there at about a quarter inch long. But they're doing well. Of course, the lighter colored ones, uh, some of them are the tilapia. There's the big tilapia, probably you know, getting close to three, three and a half inches long now. Some of the other tilapia are lagging behind a little bit in growth, but I'm sure they'll catch up soon. But they are fat. What a mess of tomato plants up there. In contrast, there's Petey. Let's go outside and take a look in contrast to what's going on. This is February the 2nd. Of course, we had the biggest snowstorm we've had in years and years. There's the front door. Can't get out that way. It's three feet deep. Not quite sure what to do there, are you, Petey? And until next time, thanks for viewing.